What's going on Gunners? Welcome back. I'm so excited to let you all know that I'm 95% um, complete with all the components I need for reloading. So today I'm going to go over the items I have and let you guys know the one item that I need that is somewhat important but it's not necessary that I have it to start reloading but it's something that is needed for sure and that one thing is either like a, a workbench or work table a tool cart or something like that so with that out the way I'm going to unbox the items that I have to start reloading as you can see here I have the Lee breach lock challenge I have bought some upgrades for it to make it a little bit easier for me to reload and also to speed up the process so this is a single press. I know we have a torque press and a progressive press to definitely make things faster when it comes to reloading and to um, not only make it faster, but you can um, reload more at the same time. With me starting off, I figured the single stage would be the best because of the space I have to do my reloading. Also just to get to know how reloading works and to be more precise with the reloading um, process and the ammo I'm, I'm making so with no further ado here is the Lee breach lock challenge so we're going to open that up and as I open it up I'm going to show you the items and the items I bought to upgrade it and make it more simple quicker for me to start doing the reloading so let me go ahead and open it up and let you guys know all the other items I opened them previously just to make sure that everything was there um, or whatever and all these staples on here so so it won't be like a it'll be an unveiling because I already opened up the packages so it's not going to be like a, a, a package unboxing or whatever so let's see what we have here let's see how and I know I've been talking about reloading for about three to four months. Um, the issue was everything was just out of stock, you know, so I was just piecing things together as time went on. I think the one thing I overpaid for was the dies. So usually the regular price for a set of four dies is like 60 bucks and I pay like quadruple that price for it. Um, I haven't checked the prices lately to see if the price went down or whatever, but I was in a, I'm not going to say I was in a rush to start reloading, but the anticipation of me reloading, I was like, I just had to have the item while it was available. Because like I said before, a lot of things were just out of stock, back order, and you know, some people were price gouging for sure. So, um, I did overpay for the dies, but you know, lesson learned, at least I have the dies. And uh, so I can move forward with with the reloading process. So here, just a bunch of literature for the reloader itself, reloading press. Um, so let's just go ahead and start with the. This is the the powder scale that comes along with the Lee breech. Um, and this is a, I call this an analog scale because there's a lot of manual labor involved to get the measurement right um, I think this is this might be one of the more precise ways to get an accurate reading of powder when you reload it but the upgrade I went with with that is the I got the powder measurer it's just here and and this is a measure and dispenser. So this is just dispense the powder into the, the casing itself. And this will make it a little bit faster as well. So, so all of this, and here it is, I can put the powder here and it dispenses here once we connect the die to the, to the press. And these are the, the, the the disc you use to to um, have accurate reading of the of the powders. So we have that. So that's one upgrade. So that'll make it a little bit easier. That way, each time I want to um, load powder into a case, I won't have to do it 
with the scooper or whatever it'll just automatically do it with the disc all right so let's see what else we have so that's the powder auto disc the pro auto disc and that's going to take the place of the the safety powder scale basically and me having to scoop each um amount of powder into the to the to the casing or the loads so here is the this is the the priming tool and this is a hand priming tool right here so what I do with that is they have a a this is called a what is it? the auto primer So this is going to take the place of the hand primer, which will make it faster instead of sitting there. Because this is like, you put the, the, uh, the primer feeder here and you do it by hand. So with the auto primer, it will make it a little bit faster Oops. for me when it comes to um, loading and and so I can um, mount this to my bench I mount the auto primer here the casing here and I just one two like that and plus I'm sure after loading so many rounds my hand will get tired just squeezing so that'll help as well so these are just all the upgrades that I'm making to the to, to the single press. Now, am I going to keep the original component that came with the press? Mm, I don't know. I might <laughs> put them up on eBay or whatever. This is the um, the trim, the auto quick trim, which I I won't need this because um, I believe this is for like when you have. Five, five, six, two, two, three, or things like that. You very seldom use these when you're reloading um, semi-automatic ammo, to my knowledge. So I need to do a little bit more research on that. Okay, and we have. I need the backup too. Here's the press. There's no upgrades that I made for the press except the. I got a block bench. That way I can remove this off my bench and I can. Um, place the the auto bench primer there and instead of the the press so they make it look bigger in the picture but it is what it is all right so i'm not gonna go i, I said i need it to back up so here's the hand the handle and i might get a a, a different handle that's um a little bit shorter so um, it'll be a less of a throw. I know you can adjust this or whatever to make it longer or shorter, but I'd rather just have one that's short already. Okay, so me backing up a little bit. So this is the powder dispenser, right? So with this, um, each casing, you, you grab it, you put it under, and it'll release the uh, the powder into the to the to the case um, with the auto disc I put that on my loader on the on the press itself and each time I pull the press the casing to come up to the top and amount of powder be released so that was that goes this goes along with the auto powder disc the scale I replaced that with a digital scale and I'll show you guys that in a minute. So this this all connects to the powder dispenser and it has a, a throw lever here so what you will have to do is put the, the the brass under and then you pull back and then to release the amount of um powder that you want into the to the casing and um uh, i wanted to eliminate that i just wanted to have everything on the press so this is a sink it's a single stage pro press that's what i'm calling it pro single stage press so it's making everything everything a little bit easier for me. So these are some items that I might throw 
on eBay just to make a little bit of my, my money back. I'm not trying to price gouge anybody. I probably just do a buy now for the for the manufacturer retail price. Um, and here we have the this is the oh this is for the oh to to prime these are the primers you use this to prime each case that's what it is um so you have one for large and one for small primers and you have so i have lubricate resizing lubrication which i i don't need this because i got the four die set and the fourth die is the car carbon carbine die which you don't need to add um, resizing lubrication to it. But I'm going to hold on to that just in case. And this is, uh, oh, so if you're if you're reloading um, used casing, this is for like to clean the, the primer and the casing itself, the inside of it. All right, so that's everything that came in the the box. So. Let me show you what else I picked up. Um, I picked up some reloading trays so I can add my ammo in there doing each stage. So I have, you know, uh, D prime, prime. I put it in here and then I can move on to the, um, once I add the powder, I can put it in the next, next tray. That way I can keep track of what I have done to each um, casing, either prime it, deprime, or added powder. Let's see what else? Oh, and here, here's my. This is my four die set. Got a purchase. This is. This actually costs more than the than the than the press itself. I got the press for regular manufacturer price, and this. Like I said, it was quadruple the regular price of a four die set. So, in a four die set, you know it it, it does the 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 um, D primer, the resizing, the um, it adds the powder, and it resized the casing so it it'll fit through your your barrel correctly. I, I'm still learning a lot about this, so if I miss interpreting anything it's not that i don't know how to do it it's just i don't know how to convey it so you all understand what i'm trying to say it's it's right in my head i understand what i'm doing from from step one to step firing the the ammo once i'm done and um, i'm going to do a video of my first 50 rounds made and i'm going to have you guys come along with me with that so that's the the casing I'm sorry, that's the dies. And along with the dies, I bought the the quick release. They call this the um spleen drive breech lock bushing kit. So what this does is I put my dies in here and each time I want to switch the dies out for my reloader, it's just a quarter of a turn and I can take it out. So each each one of these bushings, sorry, yeah, each one of these bushings that have a die in it. So it'll be decapping guy, um, resize die, um, bullet die, and the last die. The um, carbide factory crimp die. That's what it is, crimp die. And the crimp die, what that does is, like I said before, that makes it so the bullet diameter is the right diameter to go through the, through the barrel of the gun. And if I'm wrong or made any mistakes anywhere in this video, Please comment and let me know. This way I won't make a mistake once I start the reloading process. Okay. Uh, and I also bought a... I have, I have so much stuff. I bought a bench plate. Like I said, this will make it so I can both this to my workbench or my tool cart or wherever I'm using. And I can take, I can take my press out. And then I can put the um, auto bench primer in. That way, um, <clears throat> I won't have the auto bench primer mounted anywhere else on the bench. So that's the bench plate, and I had to buy additional blocks for the auto 
Bix Primer. And it's just the plate itself. I have that. And what else do I have? Oh, and some of the most important components I have. This took me a while to get. This is gunpowder. So this is a lion powder. <coughs> Bullseye. I have Winchester Auto Comp powder. I have two of these. So same thing. <coughs> so that's the, yeah, the Winchester Auto Comp. And the Alliance Bullseye. And it, of course, we need primers. I have 500 primers. Uh, oh, okay. I have a caliper to measure the diameter and the length of the of the bullet while I'm making it. So this is pretty cool. And I'm going to do like small reviews on all the items that I bought, like you know, two minute segments to let you guys know what I think. The thing about it is, everything I have, I have nothing to compare it to but but itself. How well it works and the quality pretty much. I can't compare it to any other reloaders or any other components because all I have is delete. I don't have Dylan or whatever. So I just give you guys a review of, of the quality and ease of use of each item. Okay. Now, I have a digital scale. Digital scale is to basically weigh the amount of powder, the weight of the bullet with, sorry, measure the powder and measure the bullet with the powder in there to make sure the, the weight is correct. And this is Frank, Frank, Frank for Arsenal. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, we definitely need bullets. So I have bullets from Capital Cartridge. This is this is 500 bullets in here. All right. So and one other thing I need is is brass. And one of my viewers, Todd Smith. Thank you, Todd Smith. Sent me a box of brass. So I needed to buy a tumbler for that. Um, because it wasn't cleaned or whatever, so I ended up buying a tumbler from um, Harbor Freight. Anyway, let me show you the box he sent me. That's it right there. So he said that there's nine millimeter in here, 380, some 223, and 556. Five, so right now, only thing I'm reloading is um, nine millimeter. So I have to go through this box and separate everything. And hopefully in the near future, you know, like I said, I get, or like I said, like I posted in one of my previous videos, I want to build an AR. So I have some, some shells to get, shells, some, some brass to go with that once that comes along. And I might pick up a 380 one day. So I have some brass there. So all I need to do is um, throw this in my tumbler and I can get started the process of reloading. So the the workbench that I want to get is it's from Harbor Freight as well. It's the five jaw two cart, and um, I really wanted something with jaws so I can store a lot of the, the items I have in the jaw with the uh, tabletop added to it or whatever. So here's the tumbler that I have. I'm going to use. I've seen some reviews on, on this and everyone said, you know, it works well. And for the production of ammo reloading I'm doing, I don't I don't need anything huge. Um, Cause I'm reloading on a small scale. Like I said, I only have 500 primers. I have bullets and I have brass. I have to see how, how many brass I have in here. That's nine millimeter. Uh, I, I don't plan on making 500 rounds at this time. What I'm going to do is make 25 rounds using the two different types of powders I have to see which one I like the best and to also weed out any mistakes that I made. So I don't want to just reload 500 rounds and they all suck or I made a mistake on all 500 rounds. 
So it's a trial and error. So I'm going to start off small with 25 rounds using each individual powder, the Alliance and the Winchester. So um, that just about wraps it up. I want to see, I want to open this up and see what it, what do I, oh shit. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks, Todd. Man. It's a whole tour. And I don't mind any of my viewers if you have some supplies that um you don't mind, I can't say lending me, giving me to do my reloading and further the channel. Just let me know, send me a comment or whatever, and have an email address also if you look up my info on the YouTube. So, yeah, I can't wait to, to clean these up. Um, actually, I have to divide them, se separate them, so I know what's what or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. So, you guys, stay tuned. I'm going to give you an update. Um, I plan on buying my bench real soon, within a week or so. And uh, once I get that set up and my press set up, I'm going to do a first time reloader video and I'm going to go step by step with that. So thank you for watching and uh, if, if anybody's reloading, their first time reloading, any mistakes you made or things you came across that made it easier for you, let me know. And those have been reloading for years. Any um, information would be gratefully appreciated. And if you think I'm missing anything, let me know. And uh, until then, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget, we're all gunners, whether you're beginner gunner, intermediate gunner, pro, or advanced gunner. We're all gunners. Hit that like and subscribe button, and also hit the bell so you know when I um, post a video. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.